Oh, you should just stop making veggies before you get freaking cancer. Yeah, well, what's cracking, mother truckers out the back up on this son bitch for another gosh dang video. Today, wow, I've seen these around at the gas stations for the past year and I didn't even know what the tits they were and I had to get me some. For ya. It's been an interesting one because, uh, you know, I just seen them at the gas station. They've just been sitting there all laid out and I'm sure you guys have too. And uh, I kind of wanted to know what they were all about. I just figured they were kind of like camel snooze or something, you know, just some, you know, cheap American kind of crap that doesn't give you a buzz or whatever, right? Well, what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is Zen. This is what it looks like. That is the can. Zen nicotine pouches, right? That is the peppermint. We got cool mint, wintergrain, spearmint, cinnamon, and last but not least, coffee. That's the one we're gonna be doing today, coffee. And uh, I noticed a couple things about this Zen, right? There's two different types when I was ordering this stuff, right? It says Zen, and then on the top here it says coffee 06. And then there's also one that says 03 instead of 06. There's 06 and 03. So I didn't really know what that meant. I was like, maybe the 06 is stronger, maybe the 03 is stronger. After doing some research, I found out that the 06 is the stronger one. And it looks like this one is, I guess it's 0.6 milligrams of nicotine in each pouch. And there's 15 nicotine pouches in each one. So it's about one milligrams of nicotine. Never mind, I'm wrong. I just read the back. Like an idiot. It is six milligrams of nicotine per pouch. And then I guess the other one is uh, three milligrams of nicotine per pouch. So that's what it says here on the back. And you know, after seeing this, I was like, okay, so it's just another kind of like snooze pouch or whatever, but that's where it's wrong. I saw on here, it said the future of nicotine. And I was like, okay, there's gotta be another catch. You know, these pouches, right? So let's go ahead and pop one of these sons of bitches in and we'll talk about it. Oh, let's see what they look like. Whoa. Oh my goodness, that is freaking, dude, look how white these pouches are. Is the camera even gonna like pick that up? They're like so white. It's like, oh, dude, holy crap, man. Look how white those are. Good net. So yeah, this is the coffee flavor. Smells amazing, holy smokes. You know what it smells like? Is it smells like a, a freaking candle from Yankee Doodle or, or Yankee Candle. Yankee Doodle, what the hell am I talking about? Damn, that smells good. So there's six milligrams of nicotine per pouch, which is pretty gosh dang good, right? So let's go ahead and they, they seem pretty hard, but uh, let's go ahead and throw a couple in. Mm. All right, we got two of in our upper lip there. These are spit-free pouches, so you ain't got to spit, but you know I always like to keep a mud jug around. So I got that sexiest tits cryptic Neptune mud jug, just in case I got a puke or spit or something and thank god it doesn't freaking spill. Okay, so first things first, I'm putting this in, uh, these pouches into my lip and they're very dry and very powdery. So they're not juicy at all yet. Uh, they just very powdery and very dry. I got a freaking pube or something in my mouth. Ugh. First thing I saw in this can was it says nicotine everywhere. It doesn't say anything about tobacco or anything like that, right? So then I looked in, in on the back and it says, what's in the pouch? Food grade ingredients and nicotine derived from tobacco leaves, right? That's usually where the nicotine and everything from all this stuff comes, right? So I'm like, okay, there is tobacco in this. And then I go on their website and on their, you know, questions page or whatever it says, does Zin contain tobacco? And it says, no, Zin is a tobacco leaf free nicotine product. The nicotine salt used in Zin is derived from tobacco leaves, but once the salt is extracted, no part of the leaf remains. So it's uh, a little on the freaking eh side. The nicotine still derived from tobacco leaves, but it doesn't have any of the tobacco leaves in it once the salt is extracted. So I don't know, kind of weird, right? So I guess what they're saying is you can't get cancer from this. It's cancer free. Another thing that I thought was really cool is this has a child safety lid on it, all right? Super weird, but there's arrows at the bottom here and then there's arrows on the lid. To get it open, you have to align those arrows and then you can pop it open. So it's like a legit child safety lid. That's crazy, I know it's so freaking bright. It's bright like a diamond. Ooh, that smells good. So, okay, honestly, 
I've tried other coffee dips and stuff like that that, that that have been out there before. This is the best smelling one. Like this smells freaking amazing. Smells like a gosh dang candle. You'd buy a freaking Wally World. I just freaking honestly just probably leave this gosh dang can open all day. So I guess this is kind of cool, right? It's actually starting to juice up on me a little bit. Then I'm starting to taste that freaking coffee and it's a good gosh dang taste. So I, you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen these in your gas stations. Like they're big up on display and everything and everybody, you know, have been like, hey man, you tried that Zen or whatever? I've seen it at the gas station or whatever. So I don't know. I've seen them around. I definitely would like to try all these other flavors. You got cinnamon, you got the spearmint, the cool mint, the peppermint, the wintergreen, all that stuff. So let me know if you guys want to see more veggies on this. Wow. Already getting a kick from that nicotine. So I've got 12 milligrams of nicotine in my lips so far, right? And it's just starting to, you know, juice up on me. And it tastes like, um, like chocolate taffy or toffee or I don't know, taffy, toffee, I don't know. The tits is it? Is it two separate things? I can't remember. It almost tastes like something you get at a, a theme park or something, you know, like some kind of a candy or whatever, but almost got a Tootsie Roll kind of taste too. I'm digging it. So this stuff, no tobacco in it, you know, the nicotine is derived from the tobacco, but it has no freaking tobacco so i'm guessing uh you can't freaking get cancer from it who knows definitely tastes freaking good though holy crap and this stuff is made in sweden from swedish match swedish match makes some of the biggest snooses out there and um looks like this is their next big one because uh i've been seeing it all over the gosh dang place i noticed the northerner sells it on their website um so you guys can check it out over there um but uh yeah the nicotine buzz isn't freaking bad dude like the, you know, it says that the strength is kind of like a, you know, a two for the six, but I mean, six milligrams of nicotine in each pouch is definitely some freaking nicotine. It's not what the average, you know, American tobacco consumer is used to with, you know, uh, Copenhagen or whatever. So definitely freaking good, man. The taste is awesome. The pouches are a little weird. They're kind of chalky and, and hard at first, but, um, yeah, man, it, it little, <laughs> legitimately just tastes like I got candy in my mouth. Real good. But I don't know. Try it out for yourself. Let me freaking know. This might be a gosh dang, uh, you know, another one of those things that for people that are trying to, you know, quit tobacco and, you know, quit dipping or whatever, which, you know, ain't coming for me anytime soon. But uh, this this might be another alternative, I guess. You know, there's just, there's plenty of freaking stuff out there. But before you get that, you guys got to try the freaking Outlaws Wild Watermelon. That's right, my very first gosh dang dip is out. Thank you guys so much for all the freaking support and wanting to try this stuff. I spent so long trying to get this deal done and mm, the can's not even cracked. You can just smell that watermelon goodness. Thank you guys so much for supporting and, and buying this stuff. And if you guys enjoy this stuff, just wait, okay? You guys gotta freaking just get some of this stuff, try it for yourself and just wait. If you guys dig it, I've got some more flavors coming and it is gonna blow some of these other freaking products out of the gosh dang water. So thank you guys so much for the support on that. Wow, watermelon. And hey, little insight here. Bro, lock, come here, dude. Come on, Bro Law is, uh, is, has been filming and stuff, but Bro Law actually designed this freaking can. Good job, dude. That thing looks sexy, man. Good job, Bro Law. You the man. Thanks. Ow! Just strong like Ramses. Okay, final deal on this freaking Zin. The flavor is amazing. I'm not even kidding. Probably one of the best flavors I've ever tried in pouches. It is killer. The amount of flavor that it has and just goes right to the back of your throat feels amazing. That sounded really Horrible. And then of course the nicotine definitely giving me a little bit of a buzz. I'm getting just a, a just a tad bit of a freaking shake there. It's not too overpowering. It is absolutely perfect. I thought I was gonna hate this stuff. I thought it was just gonna be some, you know, stupid little deal or whatever, but that right there, it could be the future of freaking just like it says on the can, this could be the future of freaking nicotine. Alright, well, I reckon that's gonna do it for me today. Got that eat beer, drink deer, or I'm out of it today. Eat deer, drink beer, shirt on. Got a few of these left over on my website, keepithibbly.com. Got a lot of freaking stock running low over there, so get the stuff while you freaking can. Links in the description box. Thank you guys always so much for your freaking support. Thanks for always smashing that thumbs up button on these vidges. Appreciate it. And hey, remember, oh gosh dang, a little strong going down the throat. So many more vidges to come and so many more cool things planned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you can be notified every time I upload a gosh dang vidget. Also been doing a lot of vlogs over on my second channel, Live to Thrill. 
been on trips like crazy from Texas to Florida to Missouri doing all different types of stuff, fishing, hunting, and we've got a lot more hunting vidges coming. I'm going, to, I'm doing a lot of hunting here in Colorado soon, and I'm doing a lot of freaking hunting in Indiana, doing a lot of hunting in the South. Gonna be doing a lot of stuff, so make sure to go subscribe to my second channel, Live to Thrill, links in the description box as well. Love you, sons of dicks, and hey, I reckon we'll see y'all on the Zen side. That nicotine is kicking me in the dick. Speaking of dicks, I love you, sons of dicks. 25, eight, 366, keep it freaking hell, Bella. Ah, what up, mother truckers? Don't forget to check out my website, keepithillbilly.com, and get you some sick as tits merch. We got everything from t shirts, face shields, stickers, flags. Click my merch link in the description box and get you some today. Yeah! Popping hogs, flipping frogs, running dogs and getting lost up in the woods where you don't